Hey y'all, back again. Just as soon as I turned that camera, turned the camera off, I got those spider gears in there. Um, I'll show you how I did it. It's actually pretty neat. If I can do it and hold the camera at the same time. Now, you need to time this, the two spider gears so that the everything lines up. Okay, so you want to make sure, okay, yep, yep, everything's lined up, so they're timed correctly. Now, what you'll just need to do is you'll just need to roll these out, see, like so. Now, when you take that pin out, that large pin I showed earlier, when you take that out, these will want to do this very easily. Now, when you go and see, oh, see right there. Now, also, too, notice this has a little shim on the back of it, okay? But yeah, that bottom gear is now fell out. What I'm going to do is just reach around back, push it back up. Or, why don't I just do this? Roll the whole differential around and get it. Okay, so I'll cut the. There's a spider gear. Okay. All right, so we want to get it back in. What do we do? Well, actually, it's going to be very simple and pretty straightforward, actually. So we're just going to roll this around. And see, there comes my other spider gear. It just comes right out. Okay. So, devilish little things. All right. So, what we're going to do, we'll just roll this back around here like so. So we're at one of these openings. There's two of them. This is an open differential. All right. very simple all I do is I just take the gear I put it mesh it with both mesh the teeth with both side gears and roll it down there we go all right now same thing with this one now in order to get this one in though and get it in time I'm going to push this bottom one back Okay, as far as I dare, <laughs> as far as I dare, so I'll just put this one in. And you notice one of these side gears is like really easy to turn, really, you know. Okay, so now they're both in, but now they're not timed. So what do I do? Well, it's just pretty simple. I just go back and do this same process again. And this time I just, whoop. You see my back gear back there wanting to move on me? So now, this is difficult to try and do it one handed. There we go. Okay, I hope that's in time. All right, that hole's lined up. That hole is not lined up. Can we? I think I've got that. Yeah. Well, what we can do. Sorry, the camera works not the greatest. My apologies. So, okay. We're just a little out of time there. So, what we'll do is. I'll just do this again. But you get the idea, okay? I'll come back to that and I'll fix that. But I want to show you over here. Get now, as you get ready, you will get a lot of grease, oil, dirt, crud, and filth on you doing this job. You will get dirty. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I got my got my got my girly gloves on. So now that's the new bearing going in, and uh, it's going to be great. Okay, there's my seal. There's my bearing driver, right there. Yeah. So that's yeah. I know it's a piece of pipe. It's a piece of exhaust pipe, but you know what? It gets the job done, and it gets it done pretty well. So. 
Yes, you should have like a proper seal driver. I will admit. But this is a different story. Okay, you should have a proper seal driver, but I don't have one. So there you go. There is the big pin and the bolt. That big pin goes through there, through those uh, spider gears, and keeps the axle from going in. Once you remove the big pin, you can push the axle in. Then the uh, C-clips can be removed. There's a the C-clips. Right here is where the C-clips go. Okay? That little notch right there that my light just touched. That's where those C-clips go into. Okay? But the bolt keeps that pin from falling out. You can see the hole in the end of that pin. That's for that little bolt right there. That little bolt's got a, a long shank on it that doesn't have threads and it just fits right into that, which is really nice. Oh, worth repeating, the uh, gasket was soaked in oil and it sealed up really, really nicely. That gear oil is only is less than a month old, so yeah. So I had a couple of days off. I went ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and get this done. All right. Um, Oh, you want to try to clean these holes out really, really good where the seal goes, the bearings and seals go in at. There is a step back there that will keep you from driving this too far in. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind. So, all right. I've got a lot to do. I've got a lot of work to take care of. And um, so I guess this is part two of this little endeavor uh, i will bring you up to date with a part three okay all right i thank you very much for watching if you have any questions comments ideas anything feel free to put them down below down below and uh i'll get back to you okay thank you very much and god bless